Welcome to the Hunt V Show for April 11th on this Thursday. We're your host, Hunt Both. Logan Voth is finally back, everybody. A round of applause. And also Tyler Carpenter is here as well. Um, boys, let's go ahead and start off this week's Humvee breakdown off with the national championship that took place Monday night. And best part, Zach Eady got beat. That's great. <laughs> I was, so <laughs> I was a little upset. I was a little upset. I had, <laughs> I had some investments into Purdue uh, that ended up losing, but good for UConn going back to back and being unstoppable both this postseason and last postseason. Yes, sir. And, Logan, uh, your thoughts. And and, and uh, if I would have supposedly had investments, I uh, did suggest to uh, Tyler Carpenter that UConn minus seven was a good play. I uh, for for people that have had investments into the national championship game, a an investment on UConn minus seven would have been a very good play. So congratulations <clears throat> to everybody out there that uh, did the correct investment. Uh, looking forward to next year when uh, maybe more investments can be made. Yes, sir. Again, that, was, that was not me, but you know a lot of people won off that. Yeah, nope. There was a lot. I mean, one big name out there that won a lot of investing off of uh, UConn was Dave Portnoy, founder of Barstool Sports, <laughs> placed a pre-tournament wager of six hundred thousand dollars on UConn to win the whole thing, cashed out a nice <laughs> winning of two point six million dollars. So, congratulations to all the winners in the tournament. Uh, the losers of the tournament, better luck. Better luck next year. Speaking of yeah. uh, speaking of bar, speaking of barstool sports, uh, did you see that video of Frank the Tank uh, doing putt putt this morning? Oh, I, I yeah, did. We bring out old Tanky man. That yeah. uh, it looked just like just like Hunt Boast uh, a few years ago in Florida. Oh, oh my <laughs> God, we cannot bring this up. Hunt Boast had a little yeah, meltdown during, the... during putt putt. Yeah, oh, yeah, we it, did. It's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> it is bad. Hunt, could you uh, take us uh, play by th play through your uh, meltdown, so we can maybe do a little compare and contrast to the Frank, uh, the Frank the Tank meltdown posted earlier today. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I had to bring this up, but uh, yeah, my putt putt is not good at all. I'm bad. <laughs> I can't aim for the hole real well. I'm all over the place. I just hit. I always. End up out of bounds sometimes, I guess. <laughs> but uh, it is just so bad. How do you end up so out of bounds? How do you end up out of bounds on a putt putt? <laughs> I don't know if I just chuck my club at the ball or just chuck it into the river. <laughs> uh, uh, well, well, yeah, I had a few rough times with putt putt, and I got so mad. <laughs> and uh, yep, I had a little meltdown. And yep, I did pull. And so yeah, after watching that video, and everyone's. My dad's saying it as well. He goes, that's definitely you right there. I'm like, yeah, that actually kind of <laughs> is me because I do get really mad when I suck a putt-putt. Yeah, the, the votes have been pretty uh, phototastic recently. Uh, saw a nice picture of both the Voth brothers' dad, Mr. Brad Voth, uh, wearing his <laughs> eclipse glasses at uh, at work the other day. And what I say, it was a mighty good picture. I hope Hunt can uh, put that up for you guys so you can see at home. It is quite comedic uh, of a picture. And uh, <laughs> just love to see the enthusiasm from, from Big Brad at work. You, you love to see it. Yeah, so, I'll, I'll put – hey, don't worry, folks. I'll put that out there on my on my uh, Humphrey page on Facebook. Don't worry. Everyone can see it. I'll put it out there. But I'll put it out there for everybody. It's kind of hilarious. He's just staring off into the sun, just with his glasses on. <laughs> and besides the Voth family, um, Car me and Tyler Carpenter uh, made a return to QU over the weekend. It was actually my first time back. And it was, Carp, it was great seeing everybody. Yeah, it was good to see everybody both on uh you and a, a teammate of mine that was a pitcher fellow pitcher transferred to lewis and it was good to see him too um good game beautiful weather uh great mm -hmm. day for ball 
Yeah, great. It was a great day for balls. Great seeing our old buddy of ours. But yeah, I had a I showed up and I told uh some of the parents I was like, hey, surprise, I'm back. <laughs> and then so, so yeah, everyone's like, they're like, huh? We didn't know you were coming. I'm like, I had to come see you guys, see how everything's going, and everyone's doing well. I mean. So everyone says they miss miss seeing me there. I mean, I told them everything's going well. I mean, it is what it is. But yeah, I miss 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 making. I actually enjoyed making the return there, seeing everybody and some of the old buddies of ours. Well, we got in a few weeks coming up. We got the NFL draft, but we had a little football come up earlier in uh in good old mm. April. Uh, Logan, you want to fill us in on uh, your Tuesday <laughs> game? A little football score going on. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, man, uh, hit the shit out of the ball. It's pretty much, uh, how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> what was the final score again? Like 30 to 14, 30, 30, to, 17? 30 to 17, 30 to 17. <laughs> and you yep, had, yeah. uh, you had one sixth of those RBIs. You had five RBIs that game, I believe. <laughs> yep. Yep. I did indeed. Um, um, I think we had five home runs, maybe. I, one of one of the other teams' kids hit for the cycle. We had two dudes that almost hit for the cycle. Yeah, it was a wild one. Was, and then I uh, can't forget old Grand Valley's coach got ejected. <laughs> can't forget about that. Yeah, yeah, he did. <laughs> I could I hear remember. it from the couch. I don't remember what he did, but he walked over to the tennis courts afterwards and was chilling over there. But it was <laughs> it was a long game, and it was a much needed long game because then I uh, didn't have to go to class till uh, uh, later. See, as a position player playing in the game, it seems like a lot of fun, especially when you get to miss class. But as a pitcher, only my last uh, year, I would have dreaded oh. that game. That is uh, mm. not a fun experience to just see a bunch of back and forths, bullpen getting hot, a lot of people going in. But good for you, Logan. Uh, football yeah. score before the draft. That's excellent. We love to see it. Yes, sir. That's great. Bunch of, fun, bunch of big wins lately. Yeah, you guys had a battle with Ashland last weekend, uh, which I didn't end up attending because I was back home. And – uh yeah, just tell you feel free to tell us how that went on how that went on throughout that weekend with Ashland. Oh, uh, they were good. They were good, but uh you know, we kind of blew we blew uh I wouldn't say we blew, but we should have won three the first three games. Um uh, we just kind of beat ourselves, but uh in the last game we just didn't show up at all. So um, but then we came out ready to go on Tuesday, obviously, and scored 30 runs. So, uh, yeah. If I'm not but mistaken, you guys, you guys split, right? Yeah, we split. Yeah, I remember we, we watching. Uh... Go ahead. We should have We should have at least won three out of four games. Yeah, Friday looked like a close game back and forth, low-scoring game two. Looked kind of like a that pitcher's was... duel. That was all the games, really. We just made a few mistakes mentally that kind of cost us both that or all the days, really. But uh, yeah, we go to Walsh this weekend, I believe, and I think right now they're on top of the G Max, so it'd be another big series for us. Did they play so, Wayne uh, State this past weekend? Uh, I can't question. remember. I. I saw Wayne State get, like lost a few games. I'm not sure if they lost the series or not, but Wayne State's yeah. not really looking that good this year. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know what their record is now. But we, I know we picked up a lot of big region wins this year. Yeah, we had a tough schedule. Yeah. We've had a tough schedule, and we picked up a lot of big region wins. We beat Wayne. We beat. We just beat GV, and then obviously Ashland. Um, Trying to think of who else. Uh, um, the only games are all the games in our conference are big. Um, I mean, I think Maryville is, should easily be the number one team in the region. They're they're legit, but uh, mm-hmm. yeah. Other than that, we 
even with Maryville too, we hung around with them early in the year, but uh, we were kind of still on like a growing curve. So just process driven, not result driven, man. For sure. What's uh what's the conference tournament look like this year? Where is it being played? Uh, Prasco Park, I believe it's in Cincinnati. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. it's. Uh, someone said like the Cincinnati Spikes play there or something. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, that'll know. be good getting out of getting out of old Michigan into warmer weather come May. Uh, hey man, it's <laughs> 70, 70 degrees here right now. <laughs> nice and warm yeah. the past couple of days. There you go. Yeah, you guys yes, got sir. uh. You guys got Hillsdale coming up here soon. Yeah, the next following week. That's it. That's what I'm looking yeah, at right now. We play Walsh, and then uh, – oh, that's the other team – in-region team we beat. We beat Saginaw uh, last month. And then we, we play them again, uh, I believe it's the 23rd. We play yeah, Saginaw. It's, it's a neutral site game at the single-A field here in Midland, yeah. so – Hey, now we're talking. Yes, sir. Heading the pro field. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> but uh, no, we got we got a lot of big games coming up, and uh, uh, we're playing pretty well right now. So uh, don't mess with the Timbies. Well, Logan, That's I right. have a I have a little proposition for the summer. Kind of switching gears from baseball. Um, if you make it back to uh, good old Quince Vegas uh, over the summer, I think we should take Hunt V out to uh, Westview and have him play nine holes and see uh, and have the viewers vote on whether he'd go over under uh, 60, uh, 60 on the front nine and uh, go from there and see how it goes. <laughs> I actually I like that or, or I like that or I like going to uh... Uh, what is it? A park called Mormon Mormon Park, the putt putt. Yeah. Oh, putt putt. Having having Hunt do the putt putt, and uh, <laughs> we'll have the viewers decide uh, what Hunt score will be. I love it. Either you know way, we should we should get Hunt out into his uh, unnatural habitat and hopefully catch a no. uh, a rage moment <laughs> on camera. Oh. <laughs> Actually, now now that I'm thinking about, it, we could have Hunt do a lot of like Jersey Jerry type of challenges if we wanted yep. to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Hunt, the... Hunt can shoot some threes too. Oh, oh we could get him, get him some Mantis uh, hundred free throws in a row type yeah. thing. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> well, and two, the new driving range is coming out with some shot tracers, so we could we could get some some uh, some analytical data on Hunt's golf swing too. <laughs> I'd probably got to swing like Happy Gilmore or be like Zach Parks and just tap the ground and then swing the ball. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do, uh, do got a question for you. Who do you think is winning the Masters? Um, who, wait, who's all in it? I've, I don't know who's all in it. But it's golf, huh? Uh, Everybody's t- in it. T- Tiger's in it? Yep, Tiger. Tiger's playing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to go with Tiger. <laughs> Well, if you're if if you're an investing man into sports, or that's a Phil Mickel- that's a heavy Phil- heavy investment. Either him or Phil Mickelson. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's me for you. Those those are like investing. I, I, I would I would love to see it hunt, but I, I don't think you know, one of those are happening. Hunt to put it into perspective in like an investing terminology. That's like investing in Dogecoin, which is worth around a thousandth of a penny. And thinking it's going to hit five (laughs) dollars. Logan, what's your take on the Masters? Yeah, Uh, I don't don't know who really I want to win. I actually, I actually, no, I would love to see Brooks Koepka win again. But uh, um, I feel like Spieth's going to win it. I don't know why. Did you see who they paired Koepka up with? Old Waggly? No. The slowest, uh, uh, I can't Bailey? remember exact. No, it's it's the guy that waggles like fourteen times before he hits the ball. He's the slowest yeah, off the tee box. I, I think it's Cantley. Yeah, so they paired him up. It's a little comedic uh, joke after he left the PGA that they paired him up with. Him. Oh God! But my take for the Masters, I have 
investing wise, McElroy top 10 finisher, um, John Rahm top 10 finisher and, uh, Scotty Scheffler top 10 finisher. Um, and I like Tiger to make the cut too, if I'm an investing person. Yep. Yep. Yes, sir. You know, and if I, if I were to invest in that, I would say that's a pretty good, uh, play of, uh, picks right there. Mm-hmm. The only thing is, I just don't want to see Tiger hurt his back during the Masters. <laughs> Honey, he's got to be able to walk first. I yeah. know he's got to be able to walk. Hunt, do you know how many miles a golfer walks on average during one round? Absolutely not. Uh-uh. Okay. Well, that, that'll be your uh, question of the day next week when you have a little bit more time to prepare. I will ask that again. All right. Now, you guys should bring up something real interesting that happened with me. Uh, when was it? Monday night. I don't know. What oh. Happened? Yeah, what happened oh, Monday you, night? Oh, Unity Baseball or whatever that I had Monday uh, you night. Call, uh, oh, yeah, tell, tell us about the Grand Slam. Yeah, hey, that, was a good, that was a good call, oh, by the way. Oh, oh, last Friday? Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, sorry. oh, yeah, sorry, Allen, man. Yeah, he got a he got a good piece of that ball. He I I was just watching it carry, and uh, I was like, that thing's that thing's blowing good, and it might go out. So the next thing you know, it's gone. I'm like, I'm like it's gone. And then, and then, yeah, got to throw. I don't know why I just saw it, Jim. That's why that's why I said in the broadcast, and I got people laughing over that. Somebody from around here laughing about that. I'm not sure everyone's gonna be asking like, "Who's Jim?" I'm like, oh, "I'm talking about Jim Nance." <laughs> hey, oh, uh, speaking of Jim Nance, wild, uh, wild situation on uh, Saturday before a game. We had a team meeting. Oh uh, yes. Uh, uh, scouting report, whatever. For I think it was like at 8 a.m., like four hours before the game, and uh, we walk out of the locker or have our auditorium where we have our meetings and our spring football game was that same day and all the officials are walking out and Gene Sterator is walking out with them. That no was way. awesome. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, we didn't know, but Gene Sterator is the head person for GMAC football officials. And like, he was training the referee. Was- he was training the referees. Hey, you can look it up. Holy Gene's cow. Gene's territory. So, so what we believe is during the Final Four Saturday, he, when he was putting his input into calls, that he was in Midland, Michigan. Wow. That's unique. <laughs> you, don't, you don't hear that every day. That, that wouldn't happen in old Quincy, that's for sure. How crazy is that? That is nuts. Walking, walking out to our cars before our game, and Gene Steratore is walking to the football field. That is sick. What you got? What's yeah. the rule? What's the call, Gene Steratore? <laughs> could you all could have asked him that? <laughs> uh, gotta love old Gene, man. Gotta love Gene. No, uh, but but yeah, great. Yeah, but yeah, back to the Grand Slam. Yeah, that was awesome to call. Um, even though I had a bad, I had a bad. My camera was hooked, clipped onto the fence with a tripod, and then uh, I was like, "Man, I can't turn the camera this far. I got to keep it on the plate." So, because I was over by the dugout, and but yeah, it was great. And then uh, Monday night, I actually got to coach first base in a varsity game. <laughs> and I don't want to tell the whole story because you know if I don't want to hear it. And uh, but yeah, I got there's a couple more games. There's a I got I'm not sure how many games I got this week. Three of them, I think. Let's see, it's, let's see. I got Friday, and then I'll I'm planning on going to the Triopia, like uh, little ever jamboree thing or whatever that is up there at Triopia. They play like two games up there. But yeah, I'm not. But yeah, I made decision yet. But yeah, I'm planning on doing all three. But yeah, I'm just yeah, I'm just still out calling games, to everybody. But yeah, still out doing that. And then still, and don't worry, I'm gonna be in Midland uh, the next following week. Logan, you gotta get you on the call for uh, Midland or do some camera work. I 
big don't griper bring, over the uh don't the, bring uh, that up don't bring it up because he's the one camera <laughs> one camera pisses me off but other than that midland <laughs> oh, baseball's uh, great what did you say other than that midland baseball is good just the yeah, camera midland pisses baseball. me off <laughs> yeah, it, is a, it is a far away camera I know you're gonna want me to get up there to call a Northwood baseball game. I'm not sure when that will happen. <laughs> In other news, uh, I'm sure most of you did see the women's tournament. Uh, uh, so, uh, so who, hey, who was it? Oh, hey, hey I'm, I'm, I, 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 hey, I'm gonna be off for a second. I'm getting a blizzard. <laughs> Sorry, everybody, if you're all watching this, looks kind of get a blizzard. Okay, there we go. But but yeah, if you all um watched the um South Carolina Iowa game, um, hey, that Carp that was a good game. Not gonna lie, it was a good game. I got to watch um probably three quarters of it. I started watching it right around um the end of the or the start of the second quarter. Um, it was a good game. Um. Kind of sad to see the Kate, Kate, uh, Caitlin Clark era Caitlin. come to a to a conclusion, yeah. but I mean, yeah. South Carolina is kind of a power horse for um, women's basketball. That's for sure. That's that's a good undefeated season. That's awesome. Uh, yep. But yeah, um, sorry, sorry. I'll show my respect to you, you Iowa people. I guess. But yeah, Caitlin, Caitlin had a great Caitlin had a great year. Not gonna lie, she's a she's an athlete. Um, but yeah, let's switch to yeah, Caitlin and that greatest women that. She's the greatest women's player of all time, hands down. Yep. 1, yeah, yeah, you're not. Yeah, not gonna lie. But yeah, um, and uh, card our Cardinals right now. Uh, Rockies. We don't want to talk about them at all because they're trash. Nope, they suck. <laughs> <laughs> Cardinals are off to a good, all right start. Uh, they had a weekend with uh, the Marlins, and now they uh, had a little little day yesterday with the Phillies. Um, they lost uh four three and a ending double play, but Lance Lynn pitched a great out. He went five innings. He had like I knew he had six strikeouts or five, five or six strikeouts. Did you see the Not old great, but... break his belt? Who's that? Who? Did you see Lance Lynn broke his belt in today's game? Oh, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't even know he. Yeah, broke he had his to. Belt. Uh, he had to run to the dugout holding his pants up and had to get a new belt while he was pitching. <laughs> I would hate to see that. I by the think... way, by the way, those those jerseys are absolutely beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> the the new Nike jerseys made by Fanatics are are dog water. They're so bad. Oh, are oh the Cardinal jerseys? All MLB jerseys. No, it's all of them. Oh, oh, the Cardinals. The Cardinals can't even wear their blue jerseys till like June or July. So. Yeah, the colors are different. Oh yeah. my God! Why? You got the Yankees sweating through their gray uniforms. Yeah, oh. I saw that too. But no, Sonny Gray pitched really well for his um, opening game for the Cardinals. Five innings, five Ks. Think five pickles, hits, no pickles, runs. baby. Look, well, he looked like a uh, young Tyler Carpenter. He was nasty. Like... <laughs> he was nasty. I won't do my own horn, but he he was nasty. Yes, he was. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh. Pickles was throwing the ball pretty good. Sorry, if you're all wondering what that nickname is, yeah, that's Sonny Gray's nickname, Pickles. <laughs> uh, yeah, Pickles was throwing pretty good. Uh, it was great to see him in St. Louis, and he, as he said in the press conference, he's like, it just felt like comb, and he just went out and threw. But then also in other news than that, the son of Matt Holiday's son makes his debut. Jackson. Yep, he's 0 for 4 right now. 0 for 4. <laughs> he does yeah. have an RBI, though. Yeah, I was. I actually was cheering on a, uh, when I was upstairs. I was actually cheering him on. I'm like, I'm going to have to become a fan of him now because it's Matt Holiday's son. But, yeah, I saw Matt was there. Matt was there. Uh, and uh, I didn't I didn't see ja- I didn't see Jackson's Jackson's wife. I know. I know. Sorry, guys. He got married pretty early. So, <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's great to see a young man, twenty years old. I know he's we're older than him, guys. Sorry, <laughs> it's yeah. I was about to say that you know it's uh kind of sad 
bad when a 20 year old is playing professional baseball and you're 25 and uh, played six years of college baseball. <laughs> Wait, because how many years does Zach Parks play? Six years. Zach also played six years. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. Old Zach, Zach Parks, man. I miss that guy. Oh, man. Well, everyone, I think that's going to do it for us today. Um, I appreciate everyone joining in. And yeah, we're great to have Logan back on for this week's show. Um, next week, we will be free to it next week when uh, everything gets posted up. Um, appreciate everyone listening in. And this has been a presentation of the Hunt V Show. This is the Hunt V Breakdown. Thank you for watching.